Let's take a look at the six formulas that you can use with pH, pH directly. Um, here is the one that you're going to see the most. pH equals the negative log of the hydrogen concentration. Um, now remember logs, these move on base 10. Um, so if I have a concentration, let's say of hydrogen, that's one times 10 to the minus one, compared to 10 to the um, minus two, those concentrations. If you take the negative log of 10 to the minus one, so let's do negative log of one times 10 to the minus one, compared to negative log of one times 10 to the minus two. Remember, this is the pH. We're going to find the pH of each of these. I get a pH of one and a pH of two. Um, two things that I want you to notice from this. Um, if I were just to compare concentrations, that minus one and that minus two, um, this has um, a concentration 10 times greater. There's 10 times more the amount of hydrogen ion than here. You can see that by the zeros. This would be a 0.1 and that's a 0 0.01. That has 10 times more hydrogen ions, um, moles per liter than the moles of this hydrogen ion per liter. So carrying that thought, when you come over to pH, notice pH of one compared to pH of two, there's a factor of 10 difference. It means that this pH of one is 10 times stronger, 10 times greater than that pH of two. So keep that in mind, keep that in mind, um, that as you move on the pH scale, it's actually logarithmic, um, where it's moving by factors of 10. It's like the seismic, the Richter, the Richter scale for earthquakes, an earthquake of um, 6.5 compared to an earthquake of 7.5, that 7.5 earthquake is 10 times stronger. Same thing with the pH scale because of that. We're right there. It's logarithmic. So keep that in your mind. And of course, the lower the pH, the greater the concentration of hydrogen. The higher pH, the greater the concentration of the hydroxide. Now, um, this formula right here, um, if you're doing AP chemistry, AP on the reference sheet doesn't give you this or this. I'm going to star the formulas that they give you. They give you those four formulas. You are expected to know how to do the math to find these formulas. So I wanna show you how to derive, it's super easy, um, pH equals negative log of hydrogen concentration, how to solve this for just hydrogen concentration. Um, so we have to use, we have to unlock that log. It's called the anti-log. Um, so pH equals negative log of hydrogen concentration. The opposite log is, the opposite of log is base 10. Just like the opposite of addition is subtraction, the opposite of multiplication is division, the opposite of log is 10, base 10. Um, so to get that hydrogen concentration unlocked, to get rid of that 10, you raise both sides to the base 10. So what I'm going to do if I get the log cleaned up, I don't want that negative in front of it, so I need to multiply both sides by negative. We'll get a negative on each side. Um, negative times positive is negative, negative times negative is positive, great. And then here's your trick. You raise both sides to the base 10. The log and the 10 cancel out. So we are now going to have 10 to the negative pH, whoa, equals your hydrogen concentration. And there you have it right there. Okay, now related to this is going to be POH. So POH is going to give us the relationship of per hydroxide, the concentration of hydroxide. So POH equals the negative log of the hydrogen concentration. Um, same, same principle, okay, because it's a base 10. Um, on this one, of course, for POH, the smaller, just like this, exactly like this, the smaller the POH value, the greater the concentration, the greater the strength of that base. Um, so if I change this to POH, if POH was one, POH was two, POH of one is going to be 10 times stronger than a POH of two. A POH of one is going to be 100 times stronger than a POH of three because that would have been 10 to the minus three. One times 10 to the minus three gives me three. So this difference is 100 times, 100 times different right there. Okay, so same principle with the log. Um, if you take uh, the base 10, raise both of these to base 10, here is using the anti-log, the concentration of hydroxide equals 10 to the negative pOH. Um, and then right here, let's actually skip down here. So here's our KW, I want to remind you of that. 
one times 10 to the minus 14. You can watch a whole video just on where that comes from, the beauty of water's auto ionization. Um, so one times 10 to the minus 14 equals hydrogen ion times hydroxide ion. Now, if you take the log of both sides, this is the formula that you get. I love, love this formula, it's so, so easy. If you add pH plus pOH, it's going to give you 14. Um, what you'll find in this is that you have that indirect relationship between pH and pOH. The smaller pH is, the bigger the pOH and vice versa. Okay, so there's an explanation of the six formulas. Watch the next video um, and I'm going to work problems to make sure that you're comfortable doing the math and plugging in numbers with all of these different symbols. Okay, nice. Have a good day. Thanks.